Good morning, everybody. It is Friday and we are back. It is a great day. Um, I decided I was going to start this video out with an apology. Um, I have to apologize. I did say I was going to come on and do a second video yesterday. I was going to be doing the unboxing and I did not get it done yesterday. I wasn't feeling very well. Um, I My bladder is just not happy. It is really all it is. I'm uncomfortable. It's just not happy. So it's, I apologize for not coming on and doing the unboxing yesterday and introducing you to our newest sponsor, which I am excited about. You guys are going to love them. So we are going to be doing shout outs to them today. I'm going to be on Facebook right after this and we are going to jump on and we're going to unbox this. We're going to talk about all of this, this new sponsor that we have on a monthly basis and it's going to be so much fun. So... Before we jump into this, we are reviewing Night Nurse um, from Venom Extracts. It is an 80-20 Indica Hybrid. It is an amazing strain. It has a great taste. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Let's warm this baby up. So guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like to be seeing the video today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Wheaties family here on YouTube. Where Monday through Friday we talk about anything and everything cannabis. So we'll talk about... Um, the latest news, recipes, cooking with cannabis, uh, Rick Simpson oil, and all of that wonderful good stuff, and that's what this channel is all about. Uh, yesterday, like I said, I had to have that cystoscopy done yesterday, and I ended up with two catheters in me at one time, and it sucked rocks. So I stayed down most of yesterday. I was, I was just trying to relax. I was watching a lot of, of the tubes on on YouTube and just kind of relaxing. So today we're going to jump back in there. We're going to undo the, We're going to do this unboxing. We are going to taste all of this good, wonderful, yummy stuff. But first, let's oh, got that. let's check out the product. I absolutely love Venom Extracts. I love that we are doing two weeks of this wonderful goodness. Look at that beautiful yellow gold color in there and you know i just i i really do like their branding their branding is popping it is really nice guys you've done a beautiful job great presentation it looks good it tastes good it smells good just everything overall mm, amazing so let's get us off a little chunk here So you guys have any plans for the weekend? I am going to uh, watch some videos, relax, uh, kick back, and just kind of have a good weekend with my husband. So I am hoping to maybe watch a couple of different movies to kind of talk about. Um, I have some more reading from that magazine that we'll be doing. But first, fuck cancer. Let's do this. In with the good, out with the old. That is such a crisp. Herbally, flowery, sweet, a little bit of citrus in there. <coughs> mm, so good, so yummy. So Dr. Pepper Power in the house today. Whew. So let's talk about this Night Nurse from Venom Extracts. I love it. I know a couple of you reached out. You've been doing uh, Venom Extracts with me and you guys have the Night Nurse as well. And I've had, I've seen a lot of really good reviews about this. Night, Night Nurse is an 80-20 indica hybrid. Um, it, it hails from BC, Hash Plant, Harmony, and Fire OG. It runs about a 21% THC level. Um, she kind of has a herbally coffee, I want to say like a cappuccino-y type of a flavor to her. It, it's kind of a real rich, deep, sweet, um, yummy taste. Um, it will hit you almost immediately, taking over your mind with a hazy stone that leaves you unable to really focus on anything. Although, completely happy, which is exactly where we want to be today. Um, 
My pain levels are still kind of up there. Uh, when you have a cystoscopy done, they just, they suck. It's uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable for a couple of days. It's not painful, painful. It's just uncomfortable. Um, it still feels like there's a catheter in the urethra that there's not, and it sucks. And so we're kind of working with that. And it, it's something that'll kind of subside and get better a little bit over time. But because that that stethoscope, that camera that they have to put up in there is a little bit bigger than, um, and stiffer than what a catheter or that Foley is. Um, it, it does feel different. It is more uncomfortable. You just don't like it overall. So the effects of this are cerebral, euphoria, happy, hungry, relaxing, and sleepy. Um, medicinally to treat ADD, ADHD, anxiety, arthritis, bipolar disorder, insomnia, migraines, and stress. So it does a lot of really, really good things. Um, when I started out this morning, I was at about a pain level, about an eight, eight and a half. Um, like I said, I'm really more uncomfortable than I am anything. You still have that feeling of something that's like there and it's not there, but it feels like it is. So you have like that phantom pain in there and it sucks, let me tell you. Hey Christy, how you doing sweetie? It is good to see you. So we are going to go ahead and spark this back up again. I have my magazine back out again today. We have the Marijuana Medicine National Geographic. I have an article that I have pulled out because I think it is actually a really, really good article. And then I picked it. I picked up the magazine and lost the article. Isn't that how it always works? Um, so that's the one we downloaded. Um, the botanist into the light is what we'll be discussing today, but let's go ahead and heat up this banger. Let's go ahead and do another dab. Um, don't forget, I will be on Facebook and my other social medias later on today. I will be actually following this video up with a Facebook video of an unboxing um, from our newest sponsor. I am so excited to um, announce, them, announce them, let me rephrase. So it'll be amazing. You guys are going to love it. Um, and to be honest with you, I kind of already opened the box and I kind of already lifted everything and you guys are going to love it. It is absolutely amazing. You guys are going to love this. So sit back, relax. Let's, uh, let's warm this up again. See. And let's see if I can read Wildstone today. Because that is actually a little bit more of a challenge than what I expected. I did not expect it to be as much of a challenge to try to have to read while while uh, a little elevated. So it is kind of cool. Um, I actually have really enjoyed these magazines that I've picked up. So I've really enjoyed being able to share them with you guys on this channel. Oh, this is a nice, fresh, clean bong. I just cleaned this bong out. It is ice cold water in the bottom of this bong. So as you're pulling that warm air through it, gets that nice cold chill on it. As you're uh, pulling it into the lungs, it's amazing. So, and as I've said before, um, I've had people comment on how much I smoke. I do smoke quite a bit. I have a pretty high tolerance. If you are ever into a point where you are a little too elevated and you're getting to that paranoia stage, keep some CBD on hand, drink it down or eat it or however you have that CBD, that will help take that eufor some of that euphoria away. It'll help take some of that nauseousness away that, you're, that you kind of get with that. So there's a lot of things that kind of run hand in hand when it comes to cannabis. Uh, it's kind of one of those things like uh, that you used to hear the nurses say. They, they would give you the, the nausea medicine in your IV before they gave you pain medicines because the minute that pain medicine hit your system, you want to throw up. So it's kind of a weird way that the body reacts. Um, it sucks for like the first minute and a half. And then as your body starts to relax, you start to feel that pain melt away. So as always guys, fuck cancer, fuck depression, fuck anxiety. Let's have beautiful days. Let's in with the good, out with the bad. Wow, that is the hit that keeps on giving. Wow.
you feel when you take that in? You get an immediate head rush. So you get that immediate head euphoria kind of settling in. It knocks the wind right the hell out of you. I mean, it will knock the wind out of you. <coughs> kind of feels like your throat starts to swell up a little bit. Um, and then you're, you kind of feel like your lungs are starting to relax is kind of really how it is. It's not they're still swelling up. Now they're kind of calming down and relaxing and you get like this blanketing effect. So let's see how I can, let's see how I can read. <coughs> Do you need these though? Hopefully. Oh. Mm. So the botanist, into the light. So the 44,000 square foot uh, building husks across from a police station in the industrial part of Denver along a gritty sketch of converted warehouses that have come to be known as the Green Mile. There's nothing to indicate that, uh, to indicate the nature of the enterprise the door buzzes open, and I met, and I'm met by a chief horticulturist of Mindful, one of the largest cannabis companies in the world. A druid-like man with keen blue eyes, Philip Hayes wears oh, <laughs> fatigues, hiking boots, and the in, um, indulgent grin of someone who, through a um, Wow, I really can't read right this second. Holy crap. My eyes are all jumbled. So this is going to take a second. So yeah, you do hit that immediate euphoric feeling. So my words are getting jumbled. As I'm trying to speak, it's kind of like choppy. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're doing good today. Hello. I I am doing good, Tanawana growers. How are you doing today? We are having good days here. Um... Okay, so through a confluence of events he never imagined possible has found his exact life calling. Hugh or Haig is a self-described plantsman, a dirty thumbed gardener since he was eight and a devout of the great article, uh, agricultural scientist Luther Burbank. For years, I know I'm, sp I'm pronouncing his name incorrectly and I apologize. Hugh grew poinsettias, caladiums, chrysanthemums, and other plants at his family's nursery in Texas, but now his attendees are lavished on much more lucrative buds. He leads me through mindfuls, bustling front offices, and into the interior corridors. In freezers, mindful stores seeds from all over Asia, I'll show you some of the images. I mean, some of the pictures are really, really good. Um, North Africa and the Caribbean. A world traveler who's becoming something of a Johnny Appleseed for marijuana. Hague is extremely interested in the plant's historical biodiversity and his seed bank of rare, wild, and ancient strains is a sufficient part of Mindful's business. We have to recognize that humans evolved with a particular, uh, evolved with it particularly since the dawn of time, he says. It's older than writing. Cannabis use is part of us. It's always been. It's spread from Central Asia after the last ice age and went out across the planet with man. Hogue 
joined Colorado's Green Revolutionary nearly at the beginning when the U.S. Department of Justice announced in 2009 that it would not focus on prosecuting people who compiled um, with state medical, uh, that complied with state medical marijuana laws. He looked at his wife and said, we're moving to Denver. Now he runs one of the world's most prominent grows where more than 20,000 cannabis plants thrive. We filed past the curing, the curing rooms, the curing rooms, and down the hallway, <clears throat> pulsating with the pumps, fans, filters, generators, trimming machines. Um, a, for, a forklift trundles by. Surveillance cameras capture everything as young young workers in medical scrubs scurry about. Their faces lit with the pressures and promise of an unorthodox business that's bloomed beyond comprehension. Mindful has big plans to expand, building similar facilities in other states. Pot is hot, Hogue says, with a laugh that conveys amusement and exhaustion. I'm blowing I'm blown away by what's happening here every single day. He throws open an industrial door and my eyeballs are and my eyeballs are scaling by a halo of plasma bulbs. We step into an immense, warm room that smells like a hundred yes, like a hundred yes concerts. Once my eyes adjusted, I can see the crop in all of the rippling glory. Close to a thousand female plants standing six feet tall. Their roots bathe in soup nutrients of their silky leaves, noodling, uh, nodding into the breeze of the oscillating fans. Here in a sweep of the eyes is more than half a million dollars worth of artisanal pot. I lean over and sniff one of the powdery tight clusters flowers, uh, one of the powdery tightly clustered flowers, flower buds, purple brown, cursing with white wit wisps. These tiny trichomes fairly oozy with cabin cabinoid rich resin. This strain is called Highway Man. After a song popularized by the Highwaymen, of which Willie Nelson was a member, um, that's interesting, that. um, hydro hybridized by Ho, it's, it's a variety loaded with THC. The best parts will be trimmed by hand, dried, cured, and packaged for sale at one of Mindful's dispensaries. This whole room will be ready for harvest in just a few days. Hogue notes, uh, with the subtle smirk of a competitive breeder who's won international awards for his strains. But Hogue has something else he wants to show me. He leads me into a moist propagation room where a young crop is taking root in near darkness. These babies, tagged with yellow, with yellow labels, are being grown strictly for medical purposes. They are all clones, cuttings from a mother plant. Hogue is proud of this variety, which contains almost no THC, but is rich in CBD and other compounds that have shown at least acidontal promise in treating such diseases and disorders as multiple sclerosis, psoriasis, post-traumatic stress disorders, dementia, schizophrenia, osteoporosis, and atrophic lateral sclerosis or Lou Gehrig's disease. Um, it's these low THC strains that really keep me up at night, dreaming about what they can do, Hogue says. Nothing that marijuana contain, um, nothing that marijuana contain, um, hold on. My eyes are like, whoosh, oopsie. Um, noting that marijuana contains Numerous substances, cannabinoids, flavonoids, terpenes, that have never been investigated in depth. It sounds hokey, he says, as he caresses one of the cuttings like a, goading, like a gloating father. But I believe cannabis has a consciousness. It's, it's tired of being persecuted. It's ready to step into our light. So that is today's article. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope you guys liked what you heard, liked what you said. Um, like I said before, we are going to be on Facebook here next. We are going to do an unboxing. I can't wait. We're going to have so much fun. So we're going to do one last job. 
um, simply because one of the, the unboxings that I'm going to be doing next is a CBD unboxing, which is really, really cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of that CBD to kind of level off some of the euphoric effects and get me some of that anti-inflammatory effects and kind of blend it all together. So that's what I'll be doing on Facebook. So I hope to see you there. So let's do this. So as always guys, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Weedies family here on YouTube. I usually go live Monday through Friday, but anytime between 9 and 10 a.m. The last couple of days have been really tough with some health issues and then having to go to the doctor and having all of this stuff. And so I'm, I'm trying to get back on schedule. had to have this puke catheter thing put in i understand what guys are like what how guys feel kind of now then having to readjust things because now that this tube and stuff everywhere oh my god it's just a pain in the ass and i find myself under just at different times and you would think you would honestly think you know i don't have to wear pants or underwear because i'm at a table so i could be a little bit more comfortable wear sweatpants or something like that do I ever think of doing that? No. But I always sit here and I'm like, okay, now I need to adjust again. And it just sucks. <laughs> so, if you see me squirming, that's all it is. So, let's do this. As always, guys, fuck cancer, fuck depression, fuck anxiety. Let's have uh, in with the good, out with the bad. has my throat all tight. I do have a little bit of that spinning in the head, uh, a little bit of that head kind of pressure. Um, so that will all start to calm down once I get my breath back. As always, um, I was at about an eight and a half, eight today um, at my pain level. My anxiety, not so bad. Um, I didn't have to go anywhere, so I knew I was going to be nice and relaxed and just be able to stay home. So um, I'm not too anxiety, not too, I don't have too much anxiety today. Um, I do have a little bit of agoraphobia, so I um, still need to go outside and water my garden, and I haven't been able to do that yet. So the cannabis will definitely help me with that. Um, I've had a little bit of like the flu type symptoms lately, so the cannabis will help settle my stomach. Um, and let's see. Hmm. <coughs> so if I had to judge, I would have to say probably if my my pain level right now would probably be at about a seven. So it hasn't really dropped significantly. I still have kind of a bit, a bit of pressure here in the back of my neck. Um, but that will start to uh, subside a little bit more. Um, the CBD that I do in the next unboxing will actually help a lot. Um, normally that'll help me relax a little bit more. That will help with uh, any type of migraine or major headache. CBD is an amazing, amazing property. 
So um, I will see you guys on Facebook here soon. As always, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys back on Monday. Mwah. Mad love, guys. As always. What? 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 You just you always want to come up here. You got to make your scene. You got to outdo me, huh? You got to look prettier than me. <laughs> That's not.